now let's focus on the right triangular ternary diagram. So there are different ways to draw the LLE phase diagram. What you need to do first is to make sure that you identify the solute A, diluent B, and solvent C. If your diluent B is lighter than your solvent C, the fit solution will be in the light phase and the solvent will be in the heavy phase. And if your C or solvent C is lighter than diluent B, the fit solution will be in heavy phase and the solvent will be in the light phase. Okay. And then uh, if you want to position C or solvent on the right corner, the weight fraction of C or solvent on the horizontal line and the weight fraction of A on the vertical line. So this is what you have if you want your uh, solvent at the horizontal line. Okay, so you have your mass fraction at C, where your C is at the horizontal line and your solute at the vertical line. And then we have other choices too, which is to have your solvent or your C at the vertical line. Okay, so this is the LLE phase diagram. If you were to have a mass fraction of A, which is your solute at the horizontal line. So in our case, we're going to focus on this type of uh, LLE phase diagram. Okay, so you can, uh, you should know how to label your ternary diagram, the area where you have one phase region, the area where you have two phase region, okay, and then where is your equilibrium curve. So this is equilibrium curve. If you were to draw the tie line, you draw with the dotted line and then uh, you have your extract layer. Okay, so this is your extract layer where you label all your V1 or V stream uh, position. So if you have single stage, you have only V1 okay, on this particular layer but if you have multiple stages you have v1 v2 v3 v4 on this particular layer okay and this part is your raffinate layer so the raffinate layer is where you're going to label your l so you're going to have uh, for single stage uh, you only have one l which is not on this particular layer. Okay, I will tell you later. But you're going to label your L1, L2, L3 until Ln on this particular layer. Okay. Alright, so we're going to assume that your input stream values are not in equilibrium yet because it is not undergo the process yet. So therefore, the label for your L0 will be not on this particular raffinate layer. Okay. And then uh, your solvent, your solvent, which is this is your solvent. Since this is your solvent is at the input uh, stream, if it is not in the equilibrium uh, composition, Therefore, it can lie not in the, uh, not on the this particular layer. Okay, let's say that you have a pure solvent. For pure solvent, the mass fraction for your solvent will be uh, one point zero. So the position of your solvent stream which is your uh, 
v n plus one or v two will be placed here. Okay, at position uh, zero and one. And then if you were to have your feet, which is your L naught, your L naught can lie at one face region here, anywhere, except on the refinite layer. Okay. So if you were to have your L naught, which is your feet stream, the position of feet stream must will be around this position. Lah. Okay. So let's say the mass fraction of your solute is 0 0.5, therefore it will be here. Okay? Alright? Unless the feed stream consists of solute, diluent, and the solvent. Okay? So it can be maybe here. Okay? So if it here, so your... Uh, mass fraction of your solute is 0 0.5. The mass fraction for the solvent is 0 0.1. Okay. Therefore, the mass fraction of your diluent is 0 0.4. Uh, 